Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about respiratory failure in which lungs are unable to maintain metabolic demands of individual and unable to maintain normal arterial gas level in blood. These are four types. Type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Type 1 is hypoxemic respiratory failure. Type 2 is hypercapnic respiratory failure. Type 3 is perioperative respiratory failure and type 4 is hypoperfusion of respiratory muscles in short. In type 1, hypoxemic respiratory failure, it represents failure of oxygenation mainly and in which low of PO, PaO2 which is less than 60 mm mercury and normal or low in PaCO2 which is equal to or lower than 49 mm mercury. There is also increase in PAAO2 which is alveolar arterial gradient. Type 2 hypercapnic it represents mainly defects in ventilation in which decrease in PaO2 which is less than 60 mm mercury and increase in PaCO2 which is more than 49 mm mercury it, in which PaO2 is normal. In type 3 perioperative respiratory failure it is due to increase in atelectasis and low in functional residual capacity. Type 4 occur mainly in those patients who are intubated and ventilated in process of resuscitation of shock. Causes of respiratory failure Type 1 causes hypoxemic respiratory failure causes are pneumonia, ARDS, emphysema and right to left shunt. ARDS is acute respiratory distress syndrome. These mainly asked already asked in many exams and in type 2 hypercapnic respiratory failure it occur in conditions which causes hypoventilation like COPD and foreign bodies it decreases central respiratory derived example in like central nervous system disorders in brain injury and in meningitis it can occur due to weakness of respiratory muscles like in peripheral nervous system disorders MS disorders like polymyositis and ribcage disorders like kyphosclerosis. In kyphosclerosis, there is deformity in spine. In kyphosis, there it is like spine will like this. And in scoliosis, and spine is like this. In diagnosis of respiratory failure, we can do chest radiography. We can do sometimes echocardiography. It's also useful sometimes. And we can also do ECG in which cause of respiratory failure is cardiac vascular system. And in medications, we can give diuretics with, in which furosemide we can give nitrates, nitroglycerin sublingually, apoids analgesics, morphine sulfate, inotropic agents, we can give dobutamine. In beta 2 agonist, we can give terabutaline. In corticosteroids, we can give methylprednisolone and in anticholinergic respiratory, we can give ipratropium bromide and in, in xanthic derivatives, we can give theophylline. 